Hi guys, welcome back to High Yield Intraday Trading. So, one of the most important questions a day trader has is whether there's a good time to trade intraday or not. Okay, so let's discuss a bit about this in this video. I know that the thoughts will differ a bit uh, from individual to individual, but let me put my perspective on this. Okay, so according to me, the flat answer is the market always gives us a lot of opportunities to make a trade throughout the day. Okay, and the reason why we think that if I would have traded in this particular time range, I would have been profitable is because we as retail traders are very, very impatient and we are always in a mood to make fast money. Okay, let me let me give you an example. So you as a day trader, uh, you will be waiting eagerly for the market to open up and you have set some rules for yourself. Let's say, for example, you have set a rule for yourself that you will not take up any trade before 9.20 a.m. Okay, but when the market opens up, the movement of the stocks play with your mind and since you have been eagerly waiting to make money, you forget the rules and enter the trade. Right. And not to anyone's surprise, the move started reversing. It started uh, moving against you. And finally, you ended up in a loss. OK. And this was your first trade of the day. So what will you do now? Do you realize what mistake you made? The very first mistake was you took things for granted and assumed that the move will be in your favor. OK, so always remember, guys, you trade whatever you see. You don't trade whatever you assume or whatever you think. OK, at the same time, if you're uh, in your subconscious mind, you will also be having the thought that what will happen if I book a loss? But you ignore that thought and your assumption takes over. OK, now the second mistake is I'm sure you won't deny on this, but as a retail trader, we get some kind of satisfaction post we enter a particular trade, irrespective of the fact uh, that whether our trade is in green or is in red. Okay, the only thing that we are interested in doing is to make an entry and then see what will happen. Right now, this is wrong. This is not uh, something which we can call as we, we can call as trading. This is something which is called as pure gambling. OK, so there is no point of you making uh, a loss and then trying to recover it for the rest of the day. I mean, what do you end up with? You end up paying more brokerage. You end up over trading. You end up making uh, revenge trades and you end up making uh, an overall loss. OK, now, uh, does it worth it? I don't think so. OK, so what is the way out is the question. OK, so. The way out is you need to be patient enough. You need to wait for the right moment to make a trade. See, guys, it's very important for us to realize the fact that intraday trading is not about being daring or uh, keep making trades one after the other or sitting in front of the terminal for the entire day. No, intraday trading is all about waiting very patiently for the right time to come to you and then you strike and you strike hard. OK, that's the type of trading we are talking about. That is all intraday trading has. OK, that is all intraday trading consists of. OK, so many people say that if you trade in the first one hour of the market, then you can make money because later in the day, the market slows down. According to me, there is nothing like that. Please do not forget that we have more than 1500 stocks uh, that fall under the NSE, the National Stock Exchange. OK, and 200 plus stocks that fall under the FNO segment. OK, now, do you think that all these stocks will give the same kind of moves in the same time frame? Obviously, the answer is no. Right. One more thing that I have noted is there are many traders who are bull biased and uh, who, uh, the few are beer biased. OK, so let's say uh, there is a guy who is bull biased. He scans throughout the stocks uh, that are bullish on that particular day. And maybe by 11 a.m. in the morning, he realizes that none of the stocks are going up or maybe the technicals that he follows are not favoring the up moves. OK, in order for him to make a trade and he draws a conclusion, he draws a line that there are no more stocks to trade on that particular day. Now, is that right on his part? The answer, the simple answer is no. Here, we are forgetting that we are into day trading. 
okay and in day trading whether a stock goes up or down we always can mint money okay so coming back to that guy he would have fallen back to the bearish stocks when he saw that there are no bullish stocks to trade on right he would have fall, uh, fallen back to the bearish stocks to see if he has any good entry points depending on whatever technical he is following okay yeah so the thing that i am trying to tell here is if you are into day trading okay you need to be flexible enough with both longs and shorts you cannot stay rigid if you stay rigid then it's your fault and you will you will not uh, get to see the right opportunities because at the first place you are avoiding one of the entire segments of day trading and that's the bearish stocks in this case okay also never concentrate on the timings okay there is no perfect time to day trade okay any time you get uh, any time you get to sit in front of the terminal you have to just make sure that whatever rules you have set for you or whatever technicals you are following those technicals are in line with the movement of the stock and only and only if those rules are matching you are taking up the trade if the rules are not matching if the technicals are not matching you are not taking up the trade okay it's it's not mandatory for you to go ahead and trade every single day okay as a day trader you need to have these things in your mind okay so uh, never concentrate on the timings there is nothing like if you trade in the first uh, first half of the day or the first hour of the market opening then only you can make money that's not right okay throughout the day somewhere some stock will surely be giving a decent move now our job is to be able to find or scan those stocks at the right time and make the entries and exits at the right time okay people fail as day traders because they are not ready to be patient enough they are not ready for the technicals to be in line with the stock movement and they end up taking up wrong entries which obviously will result in a loss okay if your entry is wrong everything will go wrong okay so i know this is um, like this is not all to it there are many other factors that affect a day trader but let me restrict myself here as per the topic chosen okay so and i hope that uh, uh, this will be helpful and informa uh, informative and the guys who are doing such mistakes will start practicing not to do this in future all right so that's it for now guys and as always i would request you all to please like and subscribe to my youtube channel and i will see you all again with a new topic next time you all take care and i will see you later bye bye also to remind you about the upcoming live webinar classes that are starting from 14th of july 2018 so the registrations are open right now the guys have already started joining in okay please do note that it's a first come first serve basis because we take only minimum number of guys okay so that we can pay attention individually okay so decide for yourself and join in to learn more okay so the classes start from 14th of july 2018 thank you